when you're multiplying polynomials, it's basically ends up being an expansion. So the first step is to write down p of x and q of x. So I've got p of x in the blue, minus 3x plus 4, and q of x in the red, 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. And so when you're expanding, basically you write each term in the first bracket by all multiplied by all of the terms in the second bracket. So we've got the first term is minus 3x multiplied by all of q of x, and then we've got a plus 4 multiplied by all of q of x. And then we expand that out, we multiply minus 3x by 2x squared, gives you minus 6x cubed, minus 3x multiplied by minus 3x is 9x squared, and minus 3x multiplied by 1 is just minus 3x. And then the next bracket, you expand that out similarly, you end up with uh, 8x squared minus 12x plus 4. And then we get into uh, collecting like terms and simplifying. So we look at the x cubed terms, we end up, we've got minus 6 from this bracket and none from this bracket. So we just end up with minus 6 in the final answer. For the x squared terms, we've got 9 in this bracket and 8 in that bracket. You add them together, you write them next to each other, then you simplify, you end up with 17 x squared. The plain x terms, you've got minus 3 in this bracket and minus 12 in that bracket, gives you a total of minus 15 after you write them together. And the plain numbers, you've got 4 in that bracket and nothing in this bracket, so you end up just with positive 4. So, now we're going to look at q of x multiplied by p of x, and hopefully, with a bit of luck, we're going to get the same answer. You would expect that when you're multiplying numbers, you know that uh, it doesn't matter which order you write them down when you're multiplying, you end up with the same answer. So we're going to go through the same process, having written q of x first and p of x second, and, uh, and hopefully we get the same answer. So, we've got q of x, 2x squared minus 3x plus 1, and p of x minus 3x plus 4. q of x in the red, p of x in the blue. So when you expand the first step, you write each term in this bracket, multiplied by all the terms in the second bracket. So you've got 2x squared multiplied by all of p of x, minus 3x multiplied by all of p of x, and plus 1 multiplied by all of p of x. And then it just gets into like terms again. So we're going to have a look at, we might as well put these two steps in straight away, just to show you what you're doing. You've got, you're looking at x cubed terms. The extra steps are mainly just to help you not make mistakes. If you write them down, and you want to do one thing at a time in your head, then you're less likely to make mistakes than if you're trying to look at this line up here, these brackets, and go straight to this line at the bottom. So I always write these out when I'm trying not to make mistakes. So you've got x cubed terms, you've got minus 6 of them, ends up with minus 6. x squared terms, you've got plus 8, plus 9, write them together, you end up with 17. Plain x terms, you've got uh, minus 12 here, minus 3 here, ends up with minus 15, and plain, x term, plain number terms, plus 4, and only one in that bracket, none in these brackets, so we end up with plus 4 down here. And luckily, we have the same result as we had above. Minus 6x cubed, plus 17x squared, minus 15x, plus 4, plus 4, which is great.